Hey, you're watching BFM Bootlegs, and the music we have this week is by this man here and his band, OJ Law. What's up, man? Everything's good. Great. You put out this album, uh, when do you put this out? Beginning of the year, I think. Oh, yeah. wait, last year digitally and this year right. on CD. And you've been putting out albums digitally uh, before you've had two digital albums, and then this is sort of like the first physical, physical album. Maybe the last. Why? I don't know, it's just quite expensive, so <laughs> maybe it's just easier to put things out digitally and uh, uh, just trying to, you know, you just end up with this huge stack of CDs in, yeah. your, in your room. Well, it's fun, isn't it? it? It's nice to have, and then it just takes up space, you know, so <laughs> at some point it's just like, well, if I don't sell them, I'm just either going to be like 50 years old and giving them away. <laughs> but this is... When I was younger. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is your first physical CD, how's the response been to, to the sales of this? It's been okay, it's been pretty good. Um, I have broken even on how much it costs, which is the most important thing. Mm. So, I, so the excess stock is actually I can burn it. Nice. <laughs> I can make a fire. <laughs> right, and and also the new batch of OJ Law songs are uh, now you're performing with a stable lineup. I would say. Yeah, that's and, right. And but you're still recording by yourself. Why is that? Um, well, I released a new single recently. And that was really just a one-off because at the moment I'm focusing on this new project I'm supposed to be. So I've written about like eight songs, I think, mm. for this side project that I'm doing, secret side project. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> But then uh, what happened was is that I got approached by these girls who run this ice cream company called The Last Poker. And they wanted to collaborate on an ice cream flavor. And I said, okay, because who wouldn't want to collaborate on an ice cream flavor? Yeah, right? but it's pretty weird, man. It's kind of weird. For, for a band to collaborate with an especially someone as unknown as me right it's just like <laughs> people still just i'm pretty sure they get a lot of like oh this flavor is really great great but who's this oj law dude <laughs> you collaborated <laughs> with and where can i buy a cd yeah so you've got an uh, you've got a last polka oj law flavored ice cream yeah yeah what does it taste like uh it's um it's a banana sort of flavor with a, a banana chocolate walnut cake stirred right. into have you not tried it no, I should have brought some. Yeah, man. But it's really your, good. your favorite f flavor or what? Uh, I'm, what I specifically asked for, since you're asking, was that I told them that I like having like something in the ice cream to eat. Mm. Like I like chocolate chip cookie dough and ice cream flavors and stuff like that. So they said, oh, okay, we can do that. So what they, I saw, I've seen what they do. They actually bake a cake. Like, uh, and the cake by itself is amazing. They could just sell the cake by itself. And, you know, I, I suggested just sell the cake with my name on it. It would be amazing. <laughs> but what they do, they bake the cake. And then they stir it into the ice cream. So at the end of the day, you have this. It's 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 more like a dessert than a cake. To yeah, be honest, maybe. yeah, it's, but, it's, it's, it's crazy. So that's band merch for you then. People put out t-shirts and buttons and badges. Well, I can't really sell it at shows though. What about? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm really sweaty after a show. So I have CDs and also this ice cream that I'm keeping in my <laughs> yeah. little chiller that I have. But <laughs> we're we're totally moving away from the question. The question is. <laughs> yeah. Why are, oh, yes. not, why are you not recording with these guys that are backing you up? Um, on your so, so the point of what I was making is that uh, I'd made this, I wrote this new single, My Life as a Film, and uh, I only wrote it because we were in discussions of doing the ice cream and we were having a, a launch party and stuff like that. I said, why didn't I make a, try to write a new song? So it was something I literally came up in in a week. You know, It didn't exist one week, and then I wrote it the next week, and then suddenly it was just like, okay, now I have this song ready, and now we can start giving it away with the ice cream. So that was the idea. And so... That's why I didn't really get the band involved because it was just sort of like vomiting this mm. song out. Uh, I'm getting my drummer involved in some of the in some of the uh, new recordings I'm doing, so he'll be playing on those. So that's the idea, and uh, those songs are quite exciting because right. they're a bit different from what I normally do. Yeah, well, I you, think they are. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you're pretty prolific as a songwriter. You're churning out a lot of songs. Now oh, it's you crazy! Have, you know, eight songs. Yeah, I What's know. What's all this, man? <laughs> <laughs> I, for me, uh, I, I had a, a revelation uh, sort of at the end of last year in that I realised that I wasn't as productive as I would like to have been. Eight new songs and you're not productive. No, no, I mean, but that, that came after. Right. So I figured, like, you know, because, uh, you know, I just hit the big 3-0 recently. So I was having, my, I was having my little life crisis, you know, mm -hmm. mini crisis. And I was thinking, oh, wow, you know, throughout my whole 20s, there's so, so many things that I could have done, but I didn't because I thought I had the rest of my life to do it. And so I hit that, you know, 30 landmark, and I was just like, oh, wow, maybe I should try to do some of these things I said I was going to do, but I didn't because I thought I had loads of time. So part of that is, most of that is just really just trying to 
do as much musically as possible. Uh, you know, all the, all these songs I'm writing are for this uh, new project I'm working on, which I hope uh, either, I'm not sure, for maybe an album next year or to release maybe song, a song every couple of months or something like that. Mm. Uh, still exploring that. And then after that project is done, which will, you know, whenever that ends, then I'll start on my next album as well. So I just want to keep rolling with different things. Great, okay. Yeah. Last week we saw OJ Law play Start Stop from this album right here, Yesterday is a Distant Dream. It's a big favourite at BFM. And now you're going to play as a new song. Is this part of this uh, new secret project thing? No, it's not. This is just some song that um, I started writing it like, oh God, like five, four, five years ago. And all I ha and I had all I really liked in the song was like uh, the middle portion, mm. and I, the beginning was terrible and the end was terrible. Actually, this is the story with loads of my songs, and so it just sat around for years and years and years, and then eventually I went back to it, and then I ended up writing the beginning and the end. Uh, I don't think I'm going to record this song because I actually don't know what to do with it. Um, so it's just something I've been playing live occasionally. Uh, the problem with my songs is that most of my songs are arranged. Uh, to be played within a band. So I find that if I play the songs by myself, it's actually really boring to, for me. Right. Uh, and, and I assume the listener, it's really boring for them to listen to or watch. So this is one song that I can play by myself and haven't really thought about playing with other people. So Great, yeah. a five-year-old new song. <laughs> by Uji Lo. Enjoy it. So I look to the stars To try to figure you out And the meaning of life Ever thine Ever mine Ever ours Believe Now I look into your eyes surprise my reflection looking back ever thine ever mine ever ours Just want to tell you that it's real, so real, so real. The questions we ask each other are the pieces, puzzling my strangers, new and foreign places. We start to drive with both hands on the wheel, wheel. learning life first graders, alphabets, remainders. All I want is you. Surprise. 